Hello everyone. Welcome to the class. Are you all ready? Well, in our previous class, we did time and we learnt how to ask time. We learnt how to tell time. With that, we also did how to tell about your hobby or how to ask someone about their hobby. So today, we will do something new. We will continue with time, of course, but learn new expressions, new time expressions, new vocabulary and lot of other things. But before that, we will do assignments that I had given you last time. So let me just go over the assignments. Well, the simple assignment was for you to work in pairs and practice time. You have clocks over here and you can see time is also there on the clock. So what you were to do was to ask your partner time and tell time. Now time is here written over here. You can please practice with your partner to ask time and to tell time. Now this is another uh, assignment which I had given you. Well you can see on your screens these small pictures with hands and you can count the number of fingers there and with that you can add G and tell time. Now this exercise was basically for you to write in Japanese, for you to write in kanji characters. So it is written in Roman also and it is written in the character as well. So you can count the number of fingers over here and you can tell time by adding the counter G for time. I hope you all did it at home and now you are comfortable with time. Well, last time we did time as in Ichiji, Niji, Sanji, Yoji, Goji, Rokuji, Shichiji, Hachiji, Kuji, Juji, Juichiji, Juniji. So now today, how will you tell other things that you require for time like minutes? If you want to say one and a half hours or you want to say it is 1.30. So today for that we will work over here. Now as you can see on your screens, this is written Han. It is pronounced as Han and Han means half actually, half. Now half of what? As we are dealing with time, half of one hour. So, half of one hour is 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes is Han in Japanese. Now, this Han as you can see over here can be added to time like Ichiji. You can say Ichiji Han meaning 130. But what you have to remember is that it is Ichiji Han. Ichi Ji Han. And please remember not Ichi Han Ji. So you have to remember that Han has to come after the counter Ji. It is listed over here. You can repeat after me Ichi Ji Han, Ni Ji Han. Sanji Han, Yoji Han, Goji Han, Rokuji Han, Shichiji Han, Hachiji Han, Kuji Han, Juji Han, Ju Ichiji Han, and Juniji Han. So now you can easily say it is 1.30, it is 2.30, it is 3.30. It can be said like this, ima ichiji han this. Over here, it is all in hiragana, so you can practice your hiragana as well. As you can see over here, han means half but refers to 30 minutes when it is added after the time counter G. 
Ichi ji han means 130 or 1 hour and 30 minutes. Well, you can practice this again with your partner. You can show time and then answer. Okay, so now you can practice Han over here with your partner. You can show what time it is and you can also tell after that. Now, you could say Ima nanji desu ka? Ima juniji Han desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima ichiji Han desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima niji Han desu. So, you can continue practicing like this with your partner. This will give you practice and this will help you with your words, with vocabulary. You will feel more comfortable after you have done this exercise right till the end. gives you a lot of confidence if you are able to speak the words properly, clearly and it is understood by the person you are talking to. So, please try to do this exercise at home with your partner. Well, now you have said 130, you have asked time, ima nanji desu ka? Ima, ima juichi ji? Han this as we did right here. You have done this one. So, now on your screens you can also see that something else is there. Fun and fun. This means minutes. These are two readings for minutes in Japanese. So, now how do you how do you practice that? So, if it is 120, what will you say now? You have done Nijupun, so Ichiji ni jupun this. Now you have to remember one thing that jupun jupun can also be written as jipun. So both are used very freely in Japanese. Over here this is Ichiji ni jupun or Ichiji ni jupun, whichever you want to say. Now this is pun or fun ni is added over here and pun and fun is for minutes. In a similar manner, you can say ichiji gohun desu, ichiji juppun desu, ichiji ju gohun desu, ichiji niju gohun desu, ichiji sanjuppun desu or ichiji han desu. Also, you can add gozen or gogo -go before time and you will know whether it is am or pm and you can practice like this. Now, as you can see the counter for minutes is pun or fun. Now, you can practice with me how to say ippun nihun and we can just practice over here right away. So, after me you could repeat Ippun Nihun Nihun and for over here is actually how you blow air out. If you cannot say that you can always say Hun it does not matter. Sampun Yompun, Gohun, Ropun, Nanahun, Hapun, Kyuhun, Juppun or Jippun, Jugohun. Sanjuppun or Han as we did a little while back. And of course, when you have to ask how many minutes, you can use the 
question word nan with pun. So, it becomes nam pun ima nam pun desu ka? Class wa ichiji nam pun kara desu ka? So, you can ask any of these questions any of this which we have done earlier. Now, you have done hiru, hiru, hiru as you already know is 12 o'clock or noon and yasumi is to relax or yasumi is a holiday, a vacation, relaxing or just a break. So, hiru yasumi wa nanji kara desu ka? Hiru, hiru yasumi wa nanji kara desu ka? So, you can tell time. Hiru yasumi wa ju, ju niji kara desu. You can tell time, you can answer or if you are hiru yasumi, your lunch break is from 1 o'clock, ichiji kara desu. So, now for hiru yasumi, you can also replace hiru yasumi with a lot of, lot of things that you have done earlier like gakko, gakko wa nanji kara desu ka? Kaigi wa nanji kara desu ka? Or ginko wa nanji kara desu ka. Of course, this pattern you have already done. What we need to practice here is minutes. So, hiru yasumi wa juniji han kara desu. Juniji han kara desu. Gakko wa shichiji jugo hun kara desu. Kaigi wa sanji nijuppun kara desu. Ginko wa Juji juppun kara desu. Now you can again add gogo -go or gozen to it and practice with your partner. So please try practicing minutes. So you have hiru yasumi wa nanji kara desu ka? Niji kara sanji han made desu. You have hapyo over here. Hapyo is presentation. Hapyo wa nanji kara desu ka? So, the answer is already here for you. Gozen kuji ni juppun kara ju ichiji made desu. Kogi, which is a lecture, wa nanji kara desu ka? Kogi wa gogo sanji han kara goji made desu. Of course, you can always add gogo before 5. As it is not required, you can just add Gogo go in the beginning over here, gogo go sanji han kara goji made desu because it is in the afternoon only. Then you have gakko and you can practice with your partner the time over here. Jugyo, which is class. Again, you can practice whether it is you can use gogo, go, you can use gozen, any way you want to say. And then Nihongo class wa nanji kara desu ka? And again time is given, you can ask your partner and practice. Well, now there is a small audio for you, just listen to the audio and see how much you can actually understand from there. Any new word we will try to do right away in class. Ima nanji desu ka? Juji han Ano, Nihongo class wa juichiji kara desu ne? Iye, jigaimasu. Class wa juichiji han kara desu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ima nanji desu ka? Juji han desu. Ano, Nihongo class wa juichiji kara desu ne? Iye, jigaimasu. Class wa I am sure most of it is understood. Only two new words are there for you. One is ano and the other one is chigaimasu. This is your script. 
go over it, read it. You can practice hiragana and kanji like this. Then you have the explanation here, very simple. Anywhere you get stuck, you can look up the explanation in English and that will help you. You have done one ano earlier in your previous class, one of the previous classes which was ano. Ano means that person or that object over there. Well, now this is another ano for you, A N O O. There is a difference in the spelling and of course, meaning as well. This ano as I told you just now is over there and this ano is an informal way of uh, um, attracting someone's attention or informal way to say please listen, please I want your attention. So, ano imananji desu ka? As is there in the previous, uh, in the audio you heard. There is another uh, word over here, chigaimasu. Chigaimas. Well, chigaimas is literally means it is different, meaning that it is different from what you are saying. I do not mean this, it is something different. Chigaimas. Ima ichiji desu ka? Iie chigaimas. Ima ichiji han desu. So, that is how you would use chigaimas. Now, we have done hiragana syllables earlier. We have done the additional sounds in hiragana earlier. Now, these are these are some new sounds which we had left. We are going to do these right away. The first one is kya. You know that the ya series, the ya syllable has only three ya, yu and yo. In the ya series, E is not there and ye is not there. So, only ya, you and yo are there. Now, we are going to make these additional hiragana with ya, you and yo. Now, the first sound that we have is the k sound or the ka series. So, well, how will we make this short sound kya? Now, what happens is ki plus ya from here. The k sound ki plus ya will make kya. If you do it in hiragana, ki and ya is given. Now, as you cannot cut it or reduce it in any manner, what is done? The, in Roman, the E part is removed and then you put ya over here like kya, the short sound kya, k plus ya. Now, you have to keep one thing in mind that when you put the ya over here, this is a small ya and it is on the line and then only it becomes kya. If it is on the line like this, then it is ki and ya, it becomes two syllables over here, one is short and one is a full syllable. Now, when you look at this, this seems like a full syllable and this seems like a small sound, but it is just the other way around. This is a small sound and this is a full syllable, kya, kya. You can repeat after me. Kya, Q, 
kyo sha shu sho cha chu cho nya new nyo hya hyu hyo well we'll be needing these now because we'll be doing a lot of words with these kind of sounds one of them you did in in your previous slide which was happyo 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 so the pyo sound is a quick sound please now well what are we going to do today we just practiced 30 how to say 30 minutes or han so kai gi wa rokuji han kara desu now just listen to this dialogue and let us see how many words you can catch how much you can understand and of course we will do the explanation later ashita wa kinyobi desu ne hai so desu honda sensei no class desu so ne sensei no class wa nanji kara desu ka gozen juji han kara juichi ji han made desu class wa sangai no kaigi shitsu desu ne iie nikai no kaigi shitsu desu doumo now i will read the dialogue but please i will not read the names this is a dialogue between two people kim and mira and i'm going to read out aloud to you whatever is new we will do it right away ashita wa kinyobi desu ne hai sou desu honda sensei no class desu sou ne sensei no class wa nanji kara desu ka Gozen juji han kara juichi ji han made desu. Class wa sangai no kaigi shitsu desu ne. Iie, nikai no kaigi shitsu desu. Doumo. So, this is a conversation between Kim and Mira and Kim wants to know where the class is, what floor is the class. So, we will do there are a lot of new words lot of time expressions ashita is tomorrow kinyobi is friday this you know and ne this is a new particle so we'll do it right now so now what is the answer mira gives mira says hai so this honda sensei no class this i'm sure this is understood it is honda sensei's class so ne this expression we did so this ne so a short form of so desu ne is so ne that's right sensei no class wa nanji kara desu ka gozen juji han we did just now han is 30 juji han kara ju ichi ji han made desu it is from 10:30 till 11:30 now kim san wants to know class wa sangai no kaigi shitsu desu ne sangai is san is 3 and gai is the floor of a building or stories. So, class wa third floor no kaigi shitsu, conference room desu ne. Iie, nikai, the second floor no kaigi shitsu, which is conference room again this. So, no, it is on the second floor in the kaigi shitsu. And of course, thank you for telling me. So, now we will practice this. This is in English. The English translation is right here. You can go over it. So, first of all, days of the week. Well, gets yobi, kayobi, suiyobi, mokuyobi. Kinyobi, Doyobi, and Nichi Yobi. So we have 
get COB, get COB, 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 Nichiyobi. So, you can practice this out aloud later on at home. And of course, we did time expressions, we did one time expression just now, which was ashita. So, the others are, well, we start with ashita over here, ashita, asatte. Otoi. Kino and Oto Toi. So you have Kyo, Ashita, Asatte, Kino and Ototoi. Now you can practice this out over here. We start with Ototoi over here. Ototoi, Kino, Kyo, Ashita, Asatte. So, these are some new time expressions, some new vocabulary for you to learn. So, you can do this. Now, we have Ashita wa kinyobi desu. Now, what you can do is, you have this pattern over here, time expressions you already know. A shita wa kinyobi desu. Simple, you can tell ashita wa kinyobi desu. Tomorrow is Friday. Or you can also ask, Ashita wa getsuyobi desu ka? Ashita wa getsuyobi desu ka? So, this can be a question. Hai, Ashita wa getsuyobi desu or Ashita wa getsuyobi de wa arimasen. Any of these you can tell. Of course, we will practice with this first and then do de wa arimasen. Ashita wa mokuyobi desu. Ashita wa Kayobi desu. Asatte wa kinyobi desu. Kyo wa nichiyobi desu. Ashita wa nichiyobi desu. Ashita wa yasumi desu. Tomorrow is a holiday. So, you can practice this please. Now, we can do the same exercise with deva arimasen as I just told you, this or this or deva arimasen. We did it in the beginning, this is positive and deva arimasen is negative for this. So, asatte wa kinyobi deva arimasen, asatte wa suyobi deva arimasen. Asatte wa doyobi de wa arimasen or ashita wa kinyobi desu as we did just a while back. Kyo wa kayobi desu ka? It is a question. Ashita nichiyobi desu. Ashita nichiyobi desu ka? Or you can also ask ashita wa nan yobi. Ashita wa nan yobi desu ka? That could be a question and you can answer. Now, we have done this. This. 
ではありません。This is positive and ではありません is negative as you already know. Now what is the past? でした。でした。Please get the pronunciation. でした。And the I over here is a little silent. でした。And ではありません。Is from here, of course, negative, and past is de shta. So this negative deva arimasen, past de shta, and past negative is deva arimasen de shta. So now you can practice. Kino wa kiyobi de shta. Yesterday it was Friday. Ashita wa nan yobi desu ka? Ashita wa Doyobi des. So you can practice this over here. It's given. You can do it with your partner. Also, previous in our previous lessons, we have done a des ka, b des ka. So instead of a, you can have kaiobi. B also you can have one of these uh, kiyobi. Kiyobi or doyobi, and you can practice. Ashita wa Ashita wa kaiyobi desu ka? Kiyobi desu ka? Kyo wa Kyo wa kaiyobi desu ka? Kiyobi desu ka? Asatte wa doyobi desu ka? Nichiyobi desu ka? You can practice this pattern as well with this. Now we have we have done. Minutes. We have done one thirty. We have done ichiji nijupun, ichiji han, ichiji sanjupun, ichiji yonjupun. Now, what about it is quarter to two? One forty-five can also be said as it is quarter to two. It's very simple. Nothing much is to be done over here. Well, one forty-five is ichiji yonju gohun and. Quarter to two would be niji jugohun maides. Now mai means before or earlier. So ichiji yon jugohun would be one hour forty-five minutes, and quarter to two would be niji. You say the time first. Niji jugohun maides. It's fifteen minutes to. Can practice over here. Piano reciter wa nanji made deshita ka? Gogo goji yonju gohun made deshita, or rokuji ju gohun mae made deshita. So you have a lot of things. Undokai is sports meet. Dorama you already know. Kuras party. You can practice these over here at home. Now there was a new particle which we did. Particle ne. Particle ne. As ka, particle ne also comes. As ka, particle ne also comes in the end of a sentence, at the end completely, and it actually is a confirmation seeker. It requires the listener to say something in response to what is being asked, what is being said. So particle ne is a confirmation seeker and used to solicit agreement from the listener, and it is equivalent to isn't it right? And don't you agree in English? And it always comes in the end. It has a rising intonation as well. For example, I know that you all are students, but still I just want to confirm. I meet someone outside. I might have forgotten, and I say. Gakse des ne, so the intonation you can see is rising, and it means, aren't you a student? Or, ima, <coughs> ima ichiji des ne, so isn't it one o'clock now? So that's how ne is to be pronounced or used. Now in the conversation we also had kai or. Another reading for kai is gai. 
this is a counter used for counting floors in a building or to count stories of a building. This is a suffix and has two readings as I just told you. Kono birwa nan kai desu ka? How many floors are there in the building? You can practice kai with me now, kai or gai and see how it is different, where it is different, where gai is to be used and where kai is to be used. Ikkai, Nikai, Sangai, Sangai means the third floor and you will see Kai changes to Gai. Well, you have seen the same change in Hyaku and Byaku as well. So, generally the number 3 changes with the counter. You will notice it later on also. So, keep it in mind. Yonkai. Gokai. Rokkai. Nanakai. Hakkai. Kyukai, Jukkai. Now, you will see the ones written in purple are a little different. How are they different? Well, Gai you just understood. Ikkai over here is a quick sound. It is a short sound. In a similar manner, Rokkai and Hakkai are also short sounds and Q over here, Q kai. It is not Ku kai, which is K U, it is Q kai. So, these are different. Again, Juk kai over here is a short sound. So, you have exceptions in purple. Try to remember the exceptions. Say out aloud, speak out aloud. Practice loudly and it will help. You memorize. And then in the end, we have Ju Ikkai, which is very, very easy. 10 plus 1. Ju Ikkai. So it goes like this Ju Nikai, Ju Sankai. So you can practice, memorize. So this is floors on a building for you which is kai and gai, you can practice. Nihongo class wa nankai desu ka? Anata no uchi wa kono biru no nankai desu ka? So, these you can practice at home and you can answer. Very, very simple questions. Now, as we always do, we will do some new kanji characters also today. Kanjis as I have told you earlier also are pictograms and ideograms where a certain, a certain idea is depicted in pictures and shown by lines, basically straight lines. So, these lines are drawn from left to right and from top to bottom, always ending on the right corner of the block over here. Now, kanji can be, kanji has a meaning definitely. It can be, it, it is complicated also. One character can have two, three kanji characters, a combination of kanji characters and then it can be written. So, over here in the first character that we have, you will see that this character you have done earlier. This means 8. If you remember, we did this character. This is Hachi and now when you put this over here, it means pun. Pun means minutes. So, this character together means minutes. Now, how has it come into being? Well, hachi as I told you earlier is like this, like this, all the four fingers like this. This means to divide, to, to separate and with what do you separate? Well, the basic 
thing you separate anything with or cut anything with is a knife. So, this has come into being, this character has come into being with basic meaning is separate and from knife, you cut it with knife, you separate it. So, this is pun. Now, this is a four stroke character for you over here 1, 2, 3 and 4 meaning pun. The next character that we have here is Han, Han 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, basically you cut a board into two half pieces like this, like this. This is the board, this is the board and you cut it into two. So, once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, Han, Han. How many strokes are there in this character please? Can someone tell? Well, we will count once again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, we have 5 strokes in this character. Now, the next one is, now we will do days of the week. You have done the days of the week you know the word, now we are going to do, you know how to pronounce it, now we will do the kanji character for it. You can see on your screens over here, monitors that ski is made. You did this character if you remember, this character, this is sun, nichi, it is like this divide it into two day and night. So, well with the moon what happens is the moon expands and increases and decreases waxing and waning of the moon is there for that because it is open it is not closed leave the space open and make ski like this meaning moon su ki basic meaning is moon like this 1, 2 and 3 and 4. So, this means also month, associated meaning is month, basic meaning is moon. Similar to this only it is open because of the waxing and waning of the moon. Now, the next character you can see is he, he is written over here, which means fire, which is kayobi as you did, kayobi, ka yo bi. So, fire is actually made like this, like this and with the flames over here like this, something somewhat like this. So, well, the character for it is 1, 2 this character also you have done earlier. This is hito, this character is hito meaning a person and if you add flames to it, well it becomes he which is fire. So, whenever you see this character, this character then it will immediately you will understand that it is something to do with fire. Anything anywhere where fire is required for example, a fire engine or forest fire or a burn, every time this character will be written over there. Now, the next one is Mizu, Mizu, Mizu means water as you can see, well water flows like this, flows like this. I am sure whenever you see these lines anywhere, immediately water comes to your mind. So, you turn it by 90 degrees 1, 
1, 2, 3 and 4 like this. So, this is how it is made turn this 90 degrees and 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is a 4 stroke character as is he, he is also a 4 stroke character, this is also a 4 stroke character. Basic meaning is mizu which is water and associated meanings are lots, but for the time being we are just going to do this reading mizu. Yobi, yobi, yobi is day as in as in uh, getsu yobi, kayobi, suyobi, mokuyobi. It is a difficult character, but is made out of 3, 4 characters. Now, you will see this character you have done nichi, which means day. Now, this character, this over here means wings of a bird and this means a bird itself, a fat bird. So, yo is a complicated character of about 18 strokes. I will do it once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. In all, it is an 18 stroke character where the sun goes from flies from this place to this place on the wings of a fat bird. That is how Yobi has come into being and you can see once again for you of course, you do not have to remember the character at all. You do not have to write it down. This is a difficult character concentrate only on the simple ones at the moment. Well, now we have also ima, ima nanji desu ka. So, a character for ima, ima meaning now like this, like this simple 1, 2, 3 and 4. It is a 4 stroke character ima meaning now. These are some of the kanjis that we are doing here in class. Getsu yobi, suyobi, kayobi, yobi, yo, and ima. Okay. Now, some words with kanji characters. First character that we did was pun. So, bubun, you can see, is portion. These are just characters, new vocabulary for you just for you to remember this, we will use these words later on. Thus, you need to know them now. Jibun, the meanings are given. So, hambun, hambun is half of anything, half portion of something is hambun. Hantoshi is half a year or six months. Hinichi, is date and day. Ichinichi is one day. Nisanichi is two, three days. Then some more words. Ichigatsu, Hitotsuki, Kazan, Hi, Hanabi, Mizu, Suie, Suido. So, these are some new words for you. Whatever vocabulary we did is right here. Undokai, you can repeat after me. Undokai, Bangohan. Juku, Kyoshitsu, Kaigishitsu, Hea, 
या क्यू जुग्यो सो प्लीज दीज आर सम न्यू वर्ड न्यू वो कैबलरी नाउ इज द टफ पार्ट यू हैव योर असाइनमेंट नाउ यू हैव टू डू दोज एट होम प्लीज प्रैक्टिस विद योर पार्टनर सेइंग गोजेन एंड गोगो हियर as is listed you can practice this then you have the calendar you can practice on the calendar point and say kyo wa kayobi desu ashita wa nan yobi desu ka or kino wa nan yobi deshita ka or kyo wa yasumi desu ka kyo wa yasumi desu ka kyo wa yasumi desu Kino wa yasumi de wa arimasen deshita. So you could practice past and present tense as well. You could practice all the time expressions. You could practice your days of the week and how to use them. Now these are some some pictures for you, and you have to write the kanji for these characters. Kanjis are important because Japanese cannot be written. only in hiragana katakana or kanji all three scripts are done simultaneously so please we need to learn kanji as well it's an important part integral part of the language and why we cannot write japanese in one script only well this is another one just write the readings for the kanji characters here and now in the end we have match group a with group b and make proper sentences and i think we've done quite a bit for today lot of things we have learned lot of uh, new expressions lot of new words vocabulary also the past and the present forms we have done for verbs a little bit so we will end here i will finish over here for you today let's meet again tomorrow so mina san これで終わります。明日また会いましょう。ありがとうございます。Thank you。